Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here, and in this video, I'm gonna do another review of a Shaw Brothers classic martial arts movie. This time, it's called The Golden Swallow. This is from 1968, director Chang Che. I watched this on Blu-ray, which is part of the Shaw Brothers Classics Volume One collection from Shaw Factory that recently got released, and um, they they come on their own disc individually. In case you're wondering, if you didn't see my unboxing video of this. Uh, it's two discs in one package. So classic vintage stuff. Let's get to the synopsis and I'll give you my litter grade at the end. If you've seen The Golden Swallow or if you're a fan of Shaw Brothers movies, let me know in the comments below to motivate me to keep making some of these videos. I'm enjoying, enjoying the comment section. So uh, here's the synopsis. Uh, I believe I got this from IMDb. Jimmy Wang Yu and Lo Li, who is Iron Whip uh, with Chang Pei Pei, Golden Swallow. It's a loose follow-up to Come Drink With Me, but mostly follows Silver Rock, who is played by Wang Yu. Actually, this is my own synopsis. I didn't pull this from IMDb. So uh, here's, this is, this is the uh, IMDb, I think. Golden Swallow is living peacefully with her friend, Lole, by a waterfall. She has seemingly given up her death-dealing ways, but soon she's accused of going on a bloody rampage against an evil clan. As it turns out, the actual culprit is an old bow, named Silver Rock, played by Jimmy Wang Yu, who's impersonating her to draw her out into the open. So that's a pretty good synopsis there. So um, if you've seen Come Drink With Me, it's kind of a loose follow-up to that. So, uh, you know, Chang Pei Pei is uh, back again as Golden Swallow. Uh, I don't think um, Lo Li and Jimmy Wang Yu were in uh, Come Drink With Me. I'm pretty sure they weren't, so they're kind of new introductions to that lore. The story and choreography... I would say do not hold up so well over time. And I would say a con of this movie is it's it's too bloody, it's too gory, it's too intense. Um, I like blood, I like gore, I like some intensity, but I, I felt like we went a little over the top with this, especially, you know, 1968. You know, they really pushed the boundaries. Uh, lots of strange plot devices that left me scratching my head. Like, first of all, the movie starts off with a bit of a betrayal from Golden Swallow and it's never really quite explained who the betrayal was. I mean, was that Silver Rock setting up Golden Swallow to get attacked by the uh, clan that poison darts her and they begin the movie? I don't know. That had me puzzled throughout the movie. It was never really answered. And also another puzzling thing was how could they do my man Ku Fang wrong in such a small cameo? He's in like a little five minute scene. Big fan of Ku Fang. He's in a lot of Shaw Brothers movies and I get that some of these people have walk-on cameos. But when you got an actor like that, you got to have him in a bigger role, not just a little small cameo. Uh, the thing about Golden Swallow, this movie is known for some groundbreaking stuff like handheld camera work. Although I felt like we did have the handheld camera work in there from Chang Che. It was way too wobbly for my taste. Uh, it looked like the cameraman literally was picking up the camera from uh, down on the ground and just kind of running up and shaking it. It was, it was a little too wobbly. could have been edited a little differently for its effectiveness. Um, and, and I was watching some of the uh, special stuff on the disc now, which Shout Factory put together an interview with Chang Pei Pei, and she was talking about her character in this, Golden Swallow, and sort of saying that in a way she believes it's not the same Golden Swallow that was in Come Drink With Me, because that character belongs sort of to King Hu, the director of Come Drink With Me. So in a way, this is almost, in her opinion, like an alternate uh, mirror universe or a multiverse of Golden Swallow. So take what you will on that. Uh, but there is some great bonus features on here. I watched the uh, movie twice and uh, we have the, Go the Golden Swallow commentary from Hong Kong-based academic and filmmaker Gilbert Poe. Um, a lot of interesting things he said in here, but Gilbert Poe, if you ever watch this, uh, take a little bit of um, an energy pill before you do this, because it was a little monotone on the delivery. We get some trailers and stuff like that. And um, yes, it's interesting to see some of the interviews with some of the cast people. So letter grade, gonna give this a movie, Golden Swallow from 1968, a D plus. I do see the merits and I see the importance of this movie, but after rewatching it a couple times and checking it out, I don't know if it has a big rewatchability for me. Um, you know, it's got it's got Wang Yu there with the swords in his hands doing his thing. If you're a Jimmy Wang Yu fan, I think you'll like this and that'll elevate things a little more. So you'll have to let me know if you're watching some of these 
uh, this, these uh, Shaw classics from Shout Factory on Blu-ray yourself, or you're interested in checking them out, let me know what your feedback is in the comments below. Thanks a bunch for watching this video for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.